talking about power for harvest. For as many as received him, as many that believe in his name, to them he's, he gave power to become the sons of God. After you have received that mandate, it's not for you to sit with your hands and your mind and your legs tied up and live a safe life. I'm not talking about saved. You are saved already. But you don't want to offend anybody. You just want to be on your own. Even when you see people who are going to hell, you see people who are living any hell life, it's none of your business. Just last week, I was going to, to the bank. I saw two young men. After smoking in their hand, they came out of our wall. And they sat in the same caca with me. My mind, their mouths were smelling in their hand. And I said, how do I talk to these boys? You know how their eyes normally look. And they are young. So God just dropped a little word of wisdom in my mind. As I came out, the affair, I brought out money. I gave the money to the young man. I said, both of you, I want to pay for your transport. They received the money. They started thanking me. I said, okay, I don't get you. So I told them, that place you enter, don't go there again. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I came out. One of them jumped out of the keke. And told me, Sir, sir, I want to attend your church. I want to come to your church. So I told the keke, man, please stop. I took his phone number. I told him, I'm going to call you. We, sometimes we live very safe lives. We don't want to talk about Jesus to people. We don't want to uh, offend anybody because of their lifestyles. If you pray in your heart, if you have a burden in your heart for harvest, God will always give you a way out. God will always drop a word of wisdom in your heart to minister to somebody. Even a Muslim. Sometimes after buying something from a Muslim, uh, when I give them money, I say, this money I'm giving to you now. Don't take it to Moscow. Don't take this money to your mosque. I said, Jesus, Muhammad will not save you. It's Jesus that will save you. Muhammad is not God. Don't be deceived. Have I not preached? Preach the word. Wherever you find yourself. I saw a lady dressed with micro mini skirts. The thing was so disturbing. And she came wanting to enter the same uh, tricycle with me. Going to her I said, how do I do? Hey, this one is going to make me uncomfortable. By the time I bend my neck for like 30 minutes. <laughs> you understand what I mean? So I said, no, I can minister to this one. So we entered the same keke. I asked the driver, how much? Call the price. I said, okay, uh, would you give me so, 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 so? He said, no. I said, okay, um, I'm going to, sister, you will pay the balance for me. She said, yes. I said, so you want to pay the balance? I will pay for your fare. And from there, are you a Christian? She said, yes. I initiated that prayer. I said, by the way you look now, is it that this is how your pastor asked you to come to church? She said, no. So why are you doing? I have started. Well, by the time she came down, I said, would you draw this your skirt down? Draw it down. She drew it down and she was happy. 